La Sienne Joseph has lived in a tent since the day Haiti's earthquake destroyed her house two years ago, killing one of her three daughters and wounding another. She'll finally be able to move next week. Of an estimated 1.5 million people displaced by the earthquake, nearly 1 million have left the camps due to efforts on the part of Haitians, the government, CSOs, the international community and the private sector. La Sienne got a subsidy to rent a new home in the neighborhood where she used to live. Under the government's neighborhood rehabilitation and housing program, financed by the World Bank, La Sienne and other Haitians are slowly finding their ways back to lives and homes they had before the massive earthquake two years ago. Under the program, houses are being repaired and rebuilt for 85,000 people, and thousands are receiving housing subsidies. A total of 300,000 will benefit from basic services and upgrading in their neighborhoods. In preparation for the housing reconstruction program, Haiti's Ministry of Public Works trained 300 engineers who assessed 400,000 buildings. Hundreds of masons are being trained and rebuilding homes to withstand future earthquakes and hurricanes. Uh, la méthodologie est, elle est simple. Il s'agit de euh, d'abord de réhabiliter des, des quartiers et des quartiers qui avaient été frappés. Il y a les maisons vertes qui sont les maisons qui peuvent être réutilisées, les maisons jaunes qui méritent des réparations, les maisons rouges qui sont pratiquement inutilisables. The JP Haitian Relief Organization (JPHRO) is working through the housing program to relocate an estimated 4,500 families from its Pétionville camp. In addition to providing new housing, JPHRO is setting up free health, education and employment services for families resettling from camps to neighborhoods. We're trying to kind of harmonize the services that we've offered them in the camp to now offer them in the neighborhoods and it's part of the idea is to offer an incentive to, we have school here, we have a free clinic that they go to, um, community activities. So we're moving the hospital to a Delma neighborhood near the camp. We have two skills that we're repairing and offering uh, for children from the area. I'm in a community house with all kinds of clubs and activities. So it's, the idea is to kind of offer the same services back in the neighborhoods where they came from. It's been many months of hardship and separation, says Prestant Modestra. Puisqu'on est obligé de séparer, c'est parce qu'après après on est fini avec la construction, on va, on va, on va se retrouver ensemble avec toute la famille. His house, which Haiti's earthquake totally destroyed, is being reconstructed under the World Bank project and his family finally reunited.